hello everyone let's today uh, see the simulation of pump in the twc so uh, uh, as you all know what is a pump pump is a critical uh, equipment that are used in plants to transfer their chemicals or material from one place to another so it is very much important or too much important for a plant to know its pumps efficiencies when we are building a plant so the simulation of pumps is a critical part for our simulation also because when you are constructing a flow seat or when you are simulating a plant you should know whether you are able to achieve the desired outlet pressures or whether you are able to maintain the pressure when you are transferring from one vessel to another Uh, in a plant across the distances because sometimes for some reactions pressure is really critical and for few chemicals to maintain a pressure is a safety requirement also so pump are usually selected to meet uh, the requirement of increase in the pressure of fluid transfer the fluid height uh, and uh, many more but in dwc we can simulate the pump for outlet pressure Pressure increase and power requirement. So in DWC, what you can do, you can if you want to know what will be the outlet pressure if I supply that much power, you can do this. If you want to know how much pressure will be increased if the power supplied is that much, or if I want to make the increase in pressure this much, how much will be the power required? So in today's tutorial, what we will uh, discuss. Uh, we will do a simulation for the increase in pressure so here the process parameter that we are using water in net stream at 1 bar and 25 dcc and the flow rate of 100 kg per hour efficiency of the pump 0.8 or 80% increase in pressure of water to bar final pressure will be 3 bar so in this video uh, tutorial our objective is to find the energy required by the pump to achieve this kind of pressure increment in the water so uh, what i will do uh, i will uh, sorry i will open the dwc click on cancel now click on new steady state simulation this is the usual way how we uh, set up a simulation now this is the introduction of simulation configuration wizard now move to the next select in component as water right in search you can see here water add water click on next now for water we can use raul flow because here we are not much concerned about any other properties and we will add the raul flow click on next after adding the property package this property package is generally required to do the vapor liquid equilibrium calculations so click on next after adding this system of unit i will choose c5 why because my temperature in degree centigrade pressure in bar and flow rate is kg per hour so i will select this then i will click on next uh, here the behavior is explained that is not much required in this video and there is a new Thing that is added to the new version of DWC that is added here. Click on finish. Now from stream select a one stream. Uh, currently uh, click on this stream. Double click on this stream. What I will do? I will rename this stream as a water inlet stream. now for water inlet stream pressure will be uh, <coughs> pressure will be one bar flow rate will be 100 kg per here in compound amount you can see the compound amount is given in mole fraction and it is water so mole fraction of water is one now what i will do close this window drag this flow seat here uh, now how to drag it uh, you just need to double click on this and then move your cursor so it will move now next uh, in pressure changes i will select the pump and drag it to the flow seat now what you will do click here 
on the energy connection name it is energy required or we can also say power required now click double click on pump make it as pump and click on string 3 rename it as a water outlet in general rename the string not because we will find some C names or other thing because when we do simulation on a uh, on a detailed flow sheet so there are many strings so uh, so to track the strings which stream is coming out which is going in we need to uh, do the naming of our streams and the pumps in such a manner that we can know uh, which stream is belong to what so here the flow sheet is simple only one uh, component is there but uh, this should be our general practice that's why I am doing this now you can directly from here I just want 175 percent the magnification. Now what I will do on pump, I will click on pump. So in pump I know the pressure increase that is 2 bar pressure increase in the water stream that is at 1 bar. Now I want to know the power and my pump efficiency is 80 percent. So I will put here 80. Now no need to change other parameter. So what you will do, uh, you will insert a property table. Pro uh, two property table you should insert. Now what you will do, uh, for these two property tables, click on this property table. This is about the water outlet. I just want to know the temperature and pressure and mass flow. So this is the water outlet. Yeah, still now it is not calculated. And for the pump, I want to know efficiency, temperature, uh, power required, and everywhere NPSH, uh, net positive suction head that should be required. These are the critical parameters that we require. Uh, then now I will click on this. So till now nothing calculation is there. Click on this. Click on solve the flow sheet. Now you can see water outlet pressure. As we have mentioned earlier, the water pressure is increased by two bar, so it becomes three bar. Outlet temperature is to, uh, see. Let me add the another property table for comparison. That is for water inlet temperature, pressure, and mass flow. Now you will see <coughs> two bar there is an increase in pressure, and in temperature there is a little bit increase, which is expected. When you are pressurizing a fluid, when you are giving energy, some of the energy will be converted to heat. And uh, this is the property of the any material. When, when you are gonna, uh, when you are gonna push it, or when you are gonna increase its pressure, so its pressure is increased by increasing. Uh, so the pumps, how it's working, there are different kinds of pumps: centrifugal pumps and piston pumps. Other, there are many pumps. So when they work on the fluids, uh, the rise in pressure is uh, when the there is a rise in pressure it is expected to have some rise in temperature not much rise in the temperature but if you see with 80 percent efficiency the power required will be uh, uh, in kilowatt is reversed for the power so it is 0 0.0069 that much kilowatt power is required that is because uh, power it is close to 0 0.01 kilowatt and uh, this is because my flow rate is low so let me increase the flow rate which is generally for a plant, it is uh, order of 1000. So now you can see the power becomes 0 0.07. As I increase the flow rate, it is going to be proportional to it. And uh, now you can see, so for 1000 kg per hour, the energy required will become, power required will be 0 0.7 kilowatt. So similar, so now, from this simulation what we can conclude when we need to press a, when we are going to pressurize water from one bar to three bar with a pump of 80 percent efficiency the power required will be uh, uh, 0.69 kilowatt and the net positive suction head that is available is 9.9 .9 meter so this is the data that we will collect from this pump simulation and that this will help us to determine whether we are uh, we have the uh, good amount of available suction head, whether 
this much energy is uh, required whether our energy system that we are going to install is correct or we need to increase the we need to buy a pump with better efficiency so that our energy requirements come down and we can save on the energy cost so these kind of things are keep in consideration when we do the simulation but uh, for the simulation perspective we want to know the power required that we can get doing this simulation so this is the one of the solution that you can do in pump hope you like the video if you like